Hi, Dr. Alan Seftel. I'm a urologist at the Cooper Healthcare System, Camden, New Jersey. Professor of Urology at the uh, Cooper Medical School of Rowan University, also at MD Anderson Cancer Center at uh, Cooper. The question that was asked uh, is about extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy treatment for kidney stones. This has been around for many, many years. It's very safe and very effective. Essentially, you lay on a table in the operating room. You're given some type of anesthesia, whether it's a general anesthesia with a, a tube in your throat or local anesthesia to your abdomen uh, with sedation. And then we find the stone using x-ray equipment and then bring in a special shockwave machine to break up the stone. The procedure itself takes about 30 to 45 minutes because we have to do it at a certain rate in order to maximize the benefit of the shockwave on the kidney stone. It's only good for certain size stones. If the stone is too large, it may not work, or you may need several sessions to break up the stone in its entirety. As I said, it's been around for many, many years. Very it's few got complications and a very low risk procedure. And obviously, if you need it, then I would suggest uh, going forward and, and not being uh, afraid of having the procedure done. You can shock any stone uh, up to a size of about one and a half centimeters. So if the stone is small, the outcome is better. The larger the stone, it may take more time to break up the stone using the shockwave therapy. But in general, less than a centimeter and a half is certainly an acceptable uh, number for a treatment with that modality. Kidney stones are usually made up of calcium or oxalate. Usually it's either dietary or some type of metabolic issue. And it can be treated depending on the cause of the uh, stone formation. We check a urine test and then treat the patient accordingly, either with medicines or diet or things of that nature to prevent the stones from coming back.